what is this, an old uh, combine or something? Rasher. Rasher. Just down the road from Bloom is a town known as Kings Down. You can see the name of the town up on the granary stack. And as you can see, it's Main Street. Has seen better days. Much like the previous town we visited, Kings Down is a farming community that built up around the railroad. Considering how close these two towns are together, I imagine they suffered the same fate. Brought upon by drought. Let's just take a quick peek inside this building here. 211 on Main. I got it all boarded off so you can't get in. Maybe a little better luck peeking the camera through this hole in this window. The remains of an old wash machine. Not to mention somebody's old junk. Wow, look at all that dust in there. If I had to guess, it probably served as some sort of living quarters, perhaps a business on the first floor. But who knows, maybe it was a series of apartments. Based on the size and shape of this building, I suspect it may have been the old fire department at one time. Or maybe even a warehouse. From the looks of it, there's only a few houses here that actually have people living in them. Even if that old school bus isn't running anymore, Kings Down strikes me as the type of town where kids can still play in the street. Even if there aren't any here anymore, Oh look, there's a lonely old swing set falling apart. Reminds me of the one that we used to play on at my grandparents' house. Off in the distance you can see the entrance to a tornado shelter. Because again, if you remember, we're in Tornado Alley here in Kansas. That looks like a big tornado shelter and it's probably big enough to be for people in the city that don't have one. You mean like for that house over there? Yep. One of the original houses here. Looking at what's left of Kings Down, you never guess at one time 150 people lived here. And I get the sense there's even less people here now than the neighboring community of Bloom. On that one. Uh, this house here you can see right down into the basement. Another house on this street that's been abandoned. That's an old Chrysler sitting there. And if I'm not mistaken, that little building there is probably the homeowner's or was the homeowner's entrance to the tornado shelter. Yeah, just sitting there. You'd like one of them, wouldn't you? Fix it up. I'm at the corner of Church and Railroad here in Kingsdown, and you can see that the church is still being used today. Wow, this is really cool. You gotta check this out. The old rail station here in Kingsdown is still standing. If I'm not mistaken, it's been converted into somebody's personal residence. And it has an old caboose standing outside of it. Here's a back view of the old rail station. If you look real close, you can see it says King's Down on it. And it still has the old water tank. Now that's something you don't see every day. And off in the distance, you can see that they have an old dune buggy hidden in the garage back there. In a town so ravaged by the fickleness of the land, it's not surprising these last two places still exist. Following the road that says cemetery, we've stumbled upon the town's actual cemetery, sandwiched between fields. 
then of course the old grain elevator that is still in operation today. What tomorrow will bring for the people in the communities of Kingsdown and Bloom is anyone's best guess. Until then, life continues on. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. They are free. Lastly, we love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Sightseeing Sally and Marty. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible.